And in Alberta, protesters are again blocking traffic at the Coots border crossing. That blockade resumed late Tuesday. Protesters say they will stay put, even though Alberta's premier has ended the proof of vaccination requirement there. Heather Yurex West is near Milk River, where an encampment of supporters is growing. Heather, how have the RCMP stepped up enforcement? They, they have been uh, issuing a soft touch enforcement plan, is what they call it, issuing tickets and uh, asking protesters to leave. That has not been successful so far. The border remains blocked, and this encampment uh, is, has grown this afternoon. It's about a kilometer worth of, of people in trucks here camping in the ditch and on the highway. And uh, protesters that we've spoken with say that they are here for the long haul, even with RCMP issuing tickets. They say that until uh, vaccine mandates and COVID restrictions are lifted, not only uh, in Alberta, but across the country, um, until those go away, they say that they are, will stay put. I just feel that we have to stand for freedom. I know that the more people that we have standing for freedom, the stronger we all are together. A ticket to me is a small price to pay at this point. Standing your ground means standing your ground. Holding your, hold the line, that's that's very easy statement. And so you can read into that, but plain and simple, it's people are not gonna back down. They're so they say they're not moving, Heather. I guess uh, that means the RCMP have to do something else. What does it mean for the border crossing itself? Yeah, it is completely blocked. I, I can tell you yesterday there were about 70 trucks uh, lined up here in Milk River hoping to get across the border. That traffic has since left either returning home or in search of another route into the U.S. Now, the RCMP did tell us in an update yesterday that uh, protesters do need to go and that their goal is to reopen traffic uh, flowing across the border. We have asked them today what they plan to do next, given that their soft-touch approach with ticketing does not seem to be working. We have not received an answer. So at this point, it appears to be an impasse here in southern Alberta. Donna? Okay, Heather Yurex-West near Milk River, Alberta tonight. Thanks.